to the crossroads. Then they would drive a wooden stake. The exorcism was a mistake. Now I can clearly see David was not possessed. That was only in my mind. He would often ramble about mysticism, about after death, about eternity, about things I couldn't comprehend at that time. I took this as a sign of demonic possession. What child in the world speaks Hebrew at such an early age? He would preach the gospel to the children from the orphanage. He would then go to church in the middle of the night and would stay there, crying for hours and hours. I followed him one night. He kept on praying, God have mercy on me, O oh God have mercy on me. I thought that he needed help, that he was tormented by demons. I never considered that those could have been signs of his holiness. thing I kept after I renounced the darkness of my thoughts and converted. I'm not sure why, but it makes me think of my earlier beliefs and how I've changed, as though there were two of us in one body, a pure and an evil side.
So this is how the ghosts of the unbaptized children want to drive me mad? You stand no chance, Satan. I believe in God and he is my savior. Do you hear me? Could this mean that the seven missing children are in fact victims of cholera? I knew I couldn't be guilty. I'll call the radio station right now. They deserve to know the truth before it's too late. Good evening, sir. Good evening, caller. This is Father Abraham Marcus from St. Mary's. Good heavens, the killer priest, the child murderer himself? Silence your lying tongue. You know as well as I do that those children didn't go missing. They died of cholera. Stop turning people against me with false claims. Why are you all trying to crucify me by connecting me to their deaths? Oh, Father, please, listen. We don't care if you killed them or not. We're particularly interested in that poor little altar boy, David. What do you do with him, hmm? Please, do tell. <laughs> Enough of this madness. They're acting like demons as well, like wild beasts. I shall linger no more. The ritual book, where is it? One night, when the northern lights could be seen clearly in the night sky, I took this dagger and slit the throat of a lamb. A memory I am ashamed of now. You don't scare me. Do you understand? I'm on your object. What harm could I bring? I know where you can find the book, but for this you must sign the blood pact on this shelf right here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is not what I asked of you. Ah! Oh. <laughs> the book David told me about. Now, I should go down to the crypt. I hope the gate to the old cemetery is open.
Welcome. This place was my home for a long time. We are holding a tea party on the nearby island. We can't start until everyone is present. My brother Alexander was left behind locked inside his bedroom. Can you open the doors and call him? Of course. My god, this place, it's alive. All grown-ups were once children, but only few of them remember it. Dear Mom, this is the first letter I am writing to you. I am so happy here. I would never live this place. I am always playing with the other children. Yesterday we found a new magic formula that can change the color of the flowers. You know this isn't funny. It's just a game. Go ahead. No. Ah! It seems you're beginning to understand. It was just another test. Now you need to find seven toys and bring them to me. In exchange, I will give you the names of the seven children you need to find. The dolls are all scattered inside the house. Dear Mom, thank you for visiting me every week and bringing me apple pies. Alexander is not feeling well these days, but he will regain his strength. Today we discovered a new formula that can bring back to life any dead flowers. Can you believe it? I love you, Mom. Today, something special happened. A woman and her husband came to the orphanage, looking to adopt a child. She was very beautiful, with long, dark hair, and he was tall and charming. They both looked like wealthy people. The monks gave them David, the wisest child in the orphanage.
I will tell you the truth about how Alexander died. David and Alexander never had a chance to play together as children do. Years ago, before meeting you, they lived at the Little Prince Orphanage in Romania. Then there was an outbreak of cholera. All the orphans were vaccinated with only two syringes. One of those was unsterilized, and it happened to be the one used on poor Alexander. David was spared. We pass through time like wafted leaves in the wind. I will forever keep Alexander in my heart. Image, I am of your unutterable glory, though I bear the scars of my sins. O Lord, who watches over children in the present life and in the world to come, because of their simplicity and innocence of mind, abundantly satisfying them with a place in heaven, bringing them to live in radiantly shining places where the spirits of the righteous dwell.